GeoPath Fernberg. I think it's been about three weeks since I've been up here, and uh, yeah, it definitely looks like it. So <laughs> all the uh, weed whipping I had done is uh, long gone. Time to bust out the old trimmer and get at it again. Look at this stuff. It is like up to my knees. Last time I was here, these ferns were about this high. They grow pretty fast. Ferns have also overgrown all my uh, tiger lilies, so I'm going to have to do some real careful trimming here. A wild rhododendron is blooming. I thought for sure I was going to miss those being gone so long this year. That's a small one right there. See if I can pan up here. That's a big one back there. We'll try to get a little bit closer. That thing's about 12 feet high. That bush right there and then this one on the other side of the pathway, those are also rhododendrons. They'll be pink. All the wild ones are pink. But those are pretty new. Uh, probably in a couple years we'll see some blooms. I thought my irises along here would be up and blooming at home. They're just completely going crazy, but yeah, nothing here. Wild foxglove just started to uh, open up a little bit. We got a purple and a white one here. That's kind of cool. I don't see too many white. It's normally just purple. So there actually was a butterfly plant and a yucca plant behind that fur bunch. And uh, yeah, you can actually see the rest of these plants now too. So in addition to having a thousand things to do and not a whole lot of time to do it, rain. Which is fine because uh, we actually need it real bad. We're already in a uh, burn ban situation. Not good. Well, it's really coming down now. Might as well make a BWEWRUN. Well, it probably goes without saying that one of the things I worry about when I'm not here is, are the slugs getting enough to eat? So I've brought some plants up here just to keep the slugs happy. So what we have here, that is a Rosa Sharon, and I think that one has a blue bloom. And here's another Rosa Sharon in the back there. That has, a, I think, the purple bloom. we got a coleus and whatever the heck that other thing is. And a butterfly plant. Now I just got to find a spot to make a hole and put all those away. Well, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It doesn't look like it's going to get any warmer today. It's a little earlier to start a fire than I really wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and use up uh, some of this black and white fire starter. Uh, they were nice enough to send this to me probably a couple years ago. I did a video on it once before, uh, but I had two packs. So I'm going to use the, some of it, the rest of it tonight, or this afternoon really. I think their packaging is like totally different and much better looking. So my apologies to black and white fire starter if this no longer accurately represents your products. I'm going to use these uh, cotton balls impregnated with something I don't remember what exactly here's a close-up of the cotton ball I can't remember what this is probably some kind of wax so the kit came with a bunch of goodies in there uh, this is a little fire starting cupcake got some Maya dust kind of stuff you got some fat wood chips Oh, this is a block wood. I'm not going to open this up, but it was basically uh, kind of like blocks of fat wood. Got a kind of a nifty lighter. And of course, you're just basic matches here, which is what I'm going to use next. Ooh, wow, that really lit right up. Oh, I guess it's still potent. So that took about the length of one Tom Petty song to get rolling. Not too shab. Well, now that I got a fire lit, it's uh, pretty much stopped raining and the sun's come out, but it's still a little chilly. And I'm super hungry, so I need a fire to heat some water. Any who's? I was going to have this uh, Mexican style adobo rice and chicken. And then I thought, well, maybe I want the pad thai chicken. I'm going to go with the pad thai. I really want to eat this, but I know I'll want to eat this anytime. So I'm just going to eat this because I'm super hungry and we're going to get through it. Here's your nutritional info for those who want to know. 490 calories, not really a big calorie jump. Decent ingredients. I'm just going to go ahead and heat this in a pot, I think. Ooh. That for a second there is just going to whip this all over the place, but let's have a look in the bag before we get that far. Interesting. Not sure, I think that might be maybe some kind of pasta on there, probably. Take out the do not eat. I'm just going to pour it in here. You guys can see what's in here. 
That's some pretty good sized chunks of chicken. We got some red pepper, buttload of seasoning. So it's, it's an official term. Calls for one and a third. I'm going to go with one and a quarter, and if I need to, I can add a little more. Whoa! <laughs> Don't want that handle going over the fire. Well, here we are all rehydrated. We got some noodles. A little bit of chicken in there, which is really probably one of my bigger complaints about Mountain House is they they really skimp on the meat. But what you gonna do? Well, let's give this guy a little taste test. Got a red pepper right on there. Hmm, that's really good. I've never had pad thai before, so I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to taste like. I kind of feel like it tastes like a peanut flavor in there. Maybe it's just sesame, probably sesame. It's really good though. Well, since this baby's under 500 calories and this is pretty much my uh, only thing I've had to eat today besides a chicken salad sandwich, I'm gonna add another 160 calories worth of chicken and 36 grams of protein. Now we'll have a real, a real substantial meal. Well, I gotta say that was really darn good. I did have a little bit of late heat at the end there. I could taste some onions in there, which I like. If you don't like onions, maybe uh, that might be distracting to you. Uh, the the spice that was in there was. Uh, I'm really wimpy and it was not bad at all, just kind of makes your nose run a little bit. Uh, if you do like things really spicy, you're probably going to have to bring your own uh, extra to put on top. That little bit of spice is probably just going to tease you. But uh, I would definitely buy that again. Anyhow, hope that helps. Yep, so uh, that's not good. That's right here in the old Zeppelin hanger. I have to deal with that.